If Kamala wants my vote, I want her to take a hard stance against these forever wars. I want her to take a hard stance against giving Israel any more money, especially for, mili especially for military purposes. I want her to take a strong stance in supporting um, the Palestinian plight and in supporting their right to exist. And we don't want um, anyone to come and fool us uh, and give us a bunch of false hope to get our votes. of suffering is heartbreaking. President Biden and I are working to end this war such that Israel is secure, the hostages are released, the suffering in Gaza ends, and the Palestinian people can realize their right to dignity, security, freedom, and self-determination. Both candidates are going to say whatever they have to say to win this election. I got to see, I don't know uh, uh, President, uh, excuse me, Vice President Harris, I don't, I don't know her that well in terms of, she hasn't been right out there, she's been pretty invisible in this, uh, throughout Biden's uh, uh, term in office. Every front page since October 7 has the Palestinian issue on the front page. We wanted to see what kind of Kamala Harris will be uh, that out of the shadow of Joe Biden his administration. So far we have seen some positive signs, some cracks in the doors uh, that opening but not all wide open. Uh, we need to keep the conversation going.